we do not have a debt crisis. European Central Bank claims it's independent. There is no such thing as a debt crisis. The European Central Bank is far less independent than most central banks. It is as much a debt crisis as it is a crisis of too much accumulated capital. What government do you know in Western Europe, other than German, which can actually tell its central bank, you must support my general economic policy? I could agree with you that we need treaty revisions really for economic uh, and social cohesion, except we already had one. It's called the Single European Act. The Single European Act has two pillars, the PDA. One is the Marché Interne, 92, and the other is Cohesion Economique et Sociale. But this is uh, Treaty, treaty commitments don't seem to count for anything anymore. But another point, I, I'm not just, I'm, I'm, well, let me put it differently, I'm trying not to disagree with you. <laughs> um, European Central Bank. European Central Bank claims it's independent. It assiduously claims it's independent. But there are two treaty provisions concerning the European Central Bank. The first says, that uh, its primary responsibility is to preserve the internal and external stability of the currency. But the very next sub clause says, without prejudice to this, it shall support the general economic policies of the Union. We don't need to revise the terms of the ECB. Now, this is far more powerful, and this is, and Germany can't protest because. This is founded on the same wording as that of Bundesbank. The Allgemeine Wirtschaftspolitik der Bundesregierung zu unterstützen. Now, this, the European Central Bank is far less independent than most central banks. What government do you know in Western Europe, other than the German, which can actually tell its central bank, you must support my general economic policy? And it's of the Bundesregierung, not the Bundesrepublik, if you were the Bundesrepublik, well, we'd be nowhere. So, and these general economic policies are defined by the European Council. Now, it's evident that a general economic policy of the Union at the moment is to preserve the Eurozone. When the European Council next meets, uh, it, it's going to have another temporary meeting, what, on December the 9th? They're going to solve the crisis. They're going to solve the crisis. <laughs> uh, forgive, forgive my humor. Uh, it is better than crying uh, on December the 9th, they should define that it is a general economic policy of the Union that the European Central Bank should support the Eurozone. And it would do so by the kind of mechanism that Yanni is talking about. Simple point. Parallel twin strategies, which is implicit in what Yanis is saying. Eurozone stabilization by union bonds, recovery and growth through euro bonds, two different kinds of bonds. And the Barroso proposals are only concerned with stabilization. Yes, please. The perception, everybody's perception, is we're up to here in debt. But until May last year, Europe, European Union, had no debt. No. Nothing, zero, zilch, until the ECB started buying out the debt of some member states and some toxic uh, debt of banks. This is as if Timothy Geithner could go to Barack Obama and say, Mr. President, I've got very good news for you. We've abolished the federal debt. Well, you know, I mean, it's down to one or two percent, but what do you want to fund? You know, this infrastructure in America, which is 30 years out of date, with bridges falling down, a real Medicare uh, program, a comprehensive universal pension system, we can do it. 
The USA, the United States should be as lucky as Europe now is. Europe has next to no debt and therefore it can afford to extend debt. We have a problem here. We have a problem here also in language. For example, in, uh, in Latin-based countries, you don't say, this is the debt bank of Lyon. You don't say, this is the debt bank of Rome. You say credito italiano, credit leonese, credit, credit. This has some power. I mean, you know, it's the first word of the creed, credo. Credo in un deo, credo in one currency, in unum uh, moneta, I believe in one currency. All right, well, let's get on with it. We have the instruments to do it. Is that we converted the tranche of sovereign debt of member states to union bonds, <coughs> which are not traded, but held in its own debit account. That's what Yanis essentially has been talking about. But there should be a social investment led recovery program funded like the US New Deal <coughs> by borrowing to invest through net issues of euro bonds, which are traded and would attract inflows from the sovereign wealth. Uh, funds of central banks. The words are repeated. Um, I designed the European Investment Fund to issue union bonds. It's now part of the European Investment Bank Group. It could do the job. It would be better if the ECB did the job. But it could do the job. Because, as part of the, <laughs> the other thing, the European Investment Bank has been issuing bonds for over 50 years without debt buyouts, without sovereign guarantees, and without fiscal transfers. What's the problem about issuing bonds? It's been so successful at it, it's more than twice the size of the World Bank. It's Europe's own investment bank. To introduce European... And, and Madame Merkel is against bonds, Charles Lesson, but she's against bonds because it would involve, she assumes, joint and sovereign guarantees. I'm afraid the Barroso proposals are still stuck on this. Joint and sovereign guarantees, what does that mean? It means the German taxpayer has to fit, uh, meet the bill. So, of course, Merkel isn't that so. Uh, she's grasped that very clearly, and German, Germans don't want to do it. And I don't blame them, nor does Yanis. We had a very interesting encounter with the German economist last year uh, on television where the German, when he made this point, it had never occurred to the German economist concerned whose case collapsed. So you don't need, if the, certainly if the ECB were to issue bonds, and Yanis got confirmation from this from people very close to the Fed uh, in your uh, only, only days ago, uh, they, would, they, would, they would sell. I mean, in, in this world market situation, what are people going to say? Who guarantees the bonds of the European Central Bank? No, they buy the bonds of the European Central Bank. It's better than pushing Italian bonds up to 7% when, when it's going like to fall. It would work. The important thing is it should be tried. 